sometime in their lives, half of Canadians will either need blood or know someone else who does need it. And in Victoria, until the end of the month, you can donate this life-saving gift and receive a very sweet treat of thanks. Veronica Cooper explains. Matteo was born in February 2016 and about three hours after a regular birth, my caregivers, my midwife, I realized that I had a hemorrhage, postpartum hemorrhage, and I was uh, losing quite a bit of blood, so they gave me the choice of accepting the donated blood to recuperate my blood volume so that I could have energy to take care of my newborn and give me a fighting chance of being able to breastfeed. To say thank you, Maya and Mateo are at Canadian Blood Services, and they're joined by good friend and Parachute Ice Cream co-owner Kevin Fung. She was retelling the story, and I thought to myself, if, if there's anything we could do, we should try to do something. We have a blood orange for today or a brown butter brownie. And because Kevin owns an ice cream parlor, he saw a unique way to give back. So if you go over to Parachute Ice Cream, pick up a voucher, come back and get it stamped, make a donation, and you can go back and redeem it for a scoop of ice cream anytime between now and February the 15th. I got blood orange, which is ironic, but it's, still, it's very good. And there's not a lot of blood on hand. I thought personally there would be like months and months of supply, but it's actually days which I was surprised about. We need 100,000 new donors this year. It became really apparent very quickly how much of a shortage there is. So it was just, it was great for us to partner up with them and they were so receptive and we're having a lot of fun and we hope we get a lot of people out here. Sample and share. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. I never thought I would be a person who would need donated blood. Nobody ever thinks it's gonna be them. Mila Miguel is grateful her sister got the blood she needed. As a nurse, we see people needing it all the time in the hospitals. And it sounds like with just one, one person's donation can affect multiple people. So it's such an important, important piece. This donor began giving blood in his 60s. So I started quite late, but it was through a workplace campaign. And I said, OK, I'll give it a try. And found it's no big deal. And I do feel good about it. There you go. Oh. This is pretty amazing <laughs> stuff. He's now donated 72 times. Once they've done it once, they tend to talk about it. And that's actually our message. Talk about it. Let people know to come and do it with you. Hold their hand when they're doing that first time donation. goes a long way to help people. And a free ice cream certainly sweetens the donation. Vital People is brought to you in part by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.